Hi, I'm Donny Buchanan from EntryCounts.com. In this two minute video, we're going to look at the options you've got for using the statement of changes in equity. If you're a client of ours, we would have given you these reports here. The first report we're gonna look at is the statement of income and retained earnings. This report here shows the opening retained earnings, the current period earnings, less any dividends paid. AASB 1060 allows you to use this report if there is no changes in share capital and reserves. If you did have changes in share capital and reserves, you have to use the statement of changes in equity. How do you do that? You go to add report. The issue with zero is this report can not be automated. It is a manual report that you need to enter in all the amounts yourself such as opening balance, any current period profits, opening balance of issued capital, reserves, less any dividends paid. So you do the prior year and then you do the current year. Once complete, you can hit publish and now you have your statement of changes in equity. 